of it. I, I don't believe the you know the social aspect of it had anything to do with uh, our performance this evening. I think our, our youngsters tried hard to prepare themselves well and uh, and separate the you know the fun times from the preparation. So you know that certainly wasn't it. But uh, both people have uh, treated us extremely well. Uh, we just didn't hold up our end of the bargain. Bill, can you just talk a little bit about Arkansas, the strength at the point of attack when they need it? The strength of Arkansas at the point of attack when they need it, and then the speed uh, that they have uh, for elements of their offense, how difficult it is to deal with. Well, you know, I, Arkansas is an extremely fine and talented football team. Uh, we play a lot of extremely fine and talented football teams during the course of the year, and Arkansas fits in that group, you know, extremely well. Uh, but, you know, it, it, once again, it wasn't Arkansas, it was us. And, you know, but that's the way it is every ball game. You know, it, it truly is about, you know, your level of preparation and performance, and uh, our youngsters prepared well. Uh, you know, we just, we didn't coach them very well today. And that, uh, you know, created some issues for us. I thought coming back in the second half, you know, we, we do have a bunch of young guys that uh, are going to compete, uh, not going to give in. And I certainly, you know, they didn't. And then they closed it to four, and uh, then the, uh, the wheels fell off. This is for Coach Schneider and, and both you guys on defense. Well, what's the guy with Collins today? What, what impressed you about him? And what, what kind of difference maker was he today for Arkansas? Who's that point? This was for you and the guy Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you was for them. What? <laughs> sorry, just just wonder what you thought about Alice Collins, number three for Arkansas. What his impact was, and what would impress you about his game? Well, I think he wasn't any different than what we saw on videotape. You know, he's a very explosive young guy. You know, he runs downhill uh, extremely well, but you know he can make you miss. I mean, he's an extremely talented young guy. Uh, you know, as you look uh, across, uh, and I mean, you have a, a plethora of uh, exciting and talented uh, running backs in the SEC, and you know he's at the top of the list. I think. You know, he's a very, very talented young guy. Um, you know, he, he, he got a lot of help too up front. You know, he got some pretty good uh, size young guys in there. But he, you know, he uh, breaks a lot of tackles and makes you miss when he gets on the edge. Guy. I think he's got a lot of a lot of talent in terms of change of direction and athletic ability. You know that maybe sometimes goes unnoticed when you're carrying that kind of size around. But so he, you know, he can he can handle it all. He can run downhill hard. And he can get on the edge and make a mess, and he did. Um, what I noticed about Alex today is great vision, uh, especially when he's trying to pick a hole from his offensive line. His offensive line did a great job blocking us today. Um, but other than that, he just had great vision for where the holes were and made the right catch. Yeah, I think he also had great patience, you know, for the big back. Uh, you expect him just to hit the hole hard every time, but he read his blocks and, you know, had time to get cut back or hit the hole hard. So uh, he did a great job of being patient for his blockers. And uh, when he had to hit the hole hard, he hit it hard. So, I mean, he had a huge impact. Like Coach said, he broke a lot of tackles, made a lot of big plays for his team. Uh, this is from Travis. And, uh, Morgan, um, Matthew McCrane hits that field goal to make it 31-23. Uh, he has pulled within, within that. And then uh, Coach mentioned the wheels kind of came off. You know, Henry had that 43-yard uh, catch. And then Collins had that touchdown run right after that. Um, can you just walk, walk me through that scenario and what kind of, uh, what kind of difference that made in the game? <coughs> Um, my approach, and I think I try to um, deliver that to the team and the defense in many ways, is that we've been there before with Iowa State. Um, we, we've been in that position. We understand what, what we had to do. And um, they made the plays where they needed to make the plays. And uh, unfortunately, I missed a tackle on the goal line for Alex to score. So, um, you know, they just made plays when they needed to. Yeah, you know, we just, we just got to make a stop, you know, uh, as a defense. Uh, that's how you win ball games. Just stop their offense, and uh, they continue to make big plays when they need to. And uh, you know that, that deep ball down the field is huge for them. And uh, I, don't, I don't think our defense ever gave up. 
but I think that kind of kept the momentum in a lot of ways. And so, uh, you know, I'm proud of our defense and how we continue to fight to the very end. And that's kind of been how we've been uh, the whole season. For, for Coach, what made you go with Cody at quarterback today? And Cody, what was it like for you? How big of a change was it to play the whole game, the, the quarterback supposed to receiver? Well, I mean, Cody was uh, was on the field today because uh, you know the way he's practiced and prepared himself. Uh, but it, uh, really, when we were back in Manhattan, uh, he practiced extremely well. When he got down here, his practice even better. Uh, you know, he just earned the right to be there. Uh, like I've said a lot of times, it, the biggest difference is that you just touch the ball every play as opposed to not touching the ball. A lot of things are the same. Uh, the quarterback and receivers are on the same page. A lot of the schemes and concepts that we run. Uh, as far as just emotionally, just it's uh, it's different. For touch, you're touching the ball every every play, and you got to stay in check, and you're not really as uh, intense, I would say, because you're trying to stay focused. But other than that, a lot of it I think is the same. You just got to go out and compete, and just have the same attitude that we have in every game. Uh, Cody, we, we talked in media day about you stepping into that role that Kirk Sexton and Tyler Lockett had been at the wide receiver position. Um, here we are, end of the season, and you start in the Liberty Bowl at quarterback. Uh, did you ever imagine at any point in your K-State career that you would be starting at quarterback? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I, just, uh, I just try to do what my team needs me to do. Just trying to fit wherever they need me to fit at, and just having to be quarterback the last couple games uh, and in practice and stuff. Uh, I kind of envision myself just stepping into Curry's role this season, and obviously with injuries and stuff that didn't happen. But I'm um, thankful for the opportunity God gave me, whether it was that receiver or quarterback. Uh, he just put me in a position to be successful. I'm just trying to take a, take advantage of the opportunity when it was there. For uh, Travis and Morgan, for, for Travis, what was it like not having? Will out there with you, and, and for Morgan, what was it like not having Duke on the other side? Um, you know, we always have that mix and that philosophy, and um, Will is a great player. He really could have been an asset for us this, uh, this game, but you know, you just got to play with what you got. And uh, you know, we had Matt in there, and he unfortunately he went down, and uh, Craig Settles he he came in, and he he held his own. So, uh, you know, I miss Will not being there, but. You can't, you can't approach that. You can't let that face you. So you just gotta, you gotta do your job, as, as we always say. Yeah, and as far as Duke, you know, obviously you missed Duke, and Duke had a lot of great games down the stretch. We made a lot of big plays, and so obviously I missed him. But I think uh, Donnie Starks did a great job of filling in, and uh, that's kind of been the story of our our season. We had about a thousand different players play at corner and safety and nickel, and so uh, each guy steps up and fills the role well. And uh, I think we have a lot of depth, which is helpful. And so obviously we missed Duke. But uh, you know, Donnie did a great job, and uh, you know we just kind of rotated uh, when it came to different packages, and so I think everyone across the board just did a great job today. Yeah, Bill, I just wanted to ask about those two guys, about Will and, and Duke, and understand us and why they weren't available. Uh, well, they're just unable to play. Cody, you've gotten to know. Uh, Winston pretty well via the past season. Um, I was wondering if you could uh, walk me through that another long touchdown pass to Winston and just what that what that relationship has, has been like with them and what you foresee for him moving on. I think uh, when he's a great young player, obviously he's a first team Big 12 this year and uh, just to step into that role at fullback and split time with Gronk and then to still be so successful and have all the accolades that he did, I think that's very impressive. Uh, well, he's a great kid. He plays a lot of uh, uh, spirit, and he has a good attitude. And he just brings it every day. And you, you guys see it on the field. Like he has big play after big play, at least one or two a game. And that just happened to be another one. We just called the right play at the right time. And when he made a great catch and run. Hey Morgan, I wondered if you could talk about how creative they got on kickoffs, maybe kicking away from you, and how creative you guys had to get trying to get you guys involved, you the ball. Yeah, you know, they, they kind of spread the ball around all over the place. They just pooch kicks and get it deep a few times and then squeeze it. Uh, you know, we wouldn't get creative until at the very end there. We tried to throw it back. You know, we just tried to uh, catch it and make whatever we could. And uh, that's all we really could do, you know, is uh, just try to make something happen. Um, 
obviously the play at the end that didn't work, but uh, something we practiced uh, leading up to this week and just didn't work out. But uh, yeah, I think Kelfrey Tech did a great job. Think about a lot of yards and throw offense in all the good positions. Uh, so I'm proud of those guys and how they, they played today. All, all three of the players, guys, how do you feel like you've left this program? In, in what kind of shape do you feel like it's in moving forward? And what do you hope that your legacy is with this program moving forward? Yeah, I think for me personally, you know, I want my legacy to be that, you know, a guy who worked hard every day consistently, a guy who showed hard and never gave up. and. Uh, again, that's kind of the story of our season is continue to, to persevere and, and show heart. Um, and so I think me personally, I, you know, I can say for both these guys, Travis and uh, Cody, those guys never gave up. You know, Cody carries more in the world, more than anyone in the world on the team. Same with Travis. You know, those guys work hard. And uh, if, if someone wants to remember me for anything, it's just I work hard and pour myself out for the team. We have one final question that's going to go right here. Uh, looking back on the matchup, Coach, just what was the toughest thing about it that Arkansas presented to you? Well, I, there's a, that's a multitude of questions, and, and one tell us, you know, I, I think it was evident on the field there were just certain things that Arkansas did that we didn't uh, we didn't play well against. You know, there's uh, some of those. Uh, Lake type passes that uh, promoted some, you know, a substantial number of completions and some major plays in the ball game that we had some difficulty with. Uh, you know, I, I the uh, you know we, we had a pretty good understanding of, of what we were going to see. You know, so that kind of falls back on us as coaches. You know, to make sure that we can make the adjustments to to those things. Uh, you know, I think. If the question, you know, alludes to, you know, the physical nature of Arkansas, you know, they certainly are, you know, a very physical football team. But I think our guys were inspired to play that way, and and I think for the most part did, you know, on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, in the kicking game, the, alluding to the kickoff returns, Morgan did, and uh, but we knew, you know, that, that was coming. You know, you know, uh, probably not going to kick the ball to Morgan, and consequently, uh, you know, we, we had to make do with what we could, but we were well prepared for it, and, and as Morgan indicated, you know, we get the ball back to the, you know, 35, 40 yard line, so those were substantial returns for the most part, uh, but, you know, that was something that, you know, we had to prepare for as, uh, as well, uh, but, you know, I, I don't think, uh, Arkansas, Arkansas, and you know, all due credit to them, you know, they came out and played their game. You know, it wasn't, uh, they didn't do anything that, that we hadn't looked at and hadn't seen offensively or defensively, and uh, they just did it extremely well.